Robert Heron from Wyoming is one of those guys that I only really started to notice because I was watching Wyoming film uh, to scout Brett Smith. And sometimes that happens. You know, when I sat there heading into the 2012 draft and I was checking out um, Baylor, I was checking out Baylor's offense, obviously, for RG3. But then I started to notice Kendall Wright. And it was funny, by the time all was said and done, I came away more impressed with Kendall Wright, frankly, than I did in RG3. I also started to notice Terrence Williams and da 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 So it happened here again, and sometimes this is how it goes. You go to watch one player, and you end up having your eyes focus on another player. And Robert Heron from Wyoming is one of those examples. A guy about 5'10", 195, 200 pounds, um, a short kind of compact guy, the guy that's maybe quicker than he is fast, but he's not incredibly explosive, but he is a guy, I think, that does sometimes play bigger than his size, and I think even with his lack of size can actually play on the outside, believe it or not, at the National Football League level as well as playing on the inside. He's a guy that um, showed the ability to make the routine catch He's a guy that showed the ability and the willingness to go over the middle. He showed a guy the ability to be a guy that could be physical, a guy that could actually sit there and generate some yards after the catch, not from necessarily always being incredibly explosive, but a willingness to uh, tuck his shoulder down and lower his shoulder and get the extra yard or two when it's needed. But he also showed the ability at times to be able to stretch opposing defenses vertically. And I think that's something that um, – he would be able to do at the National Football League level because of his initial quickness, which isn't great, like I said, but it's enough. He's a really good route runner, which helps. And as he gets going, I think he has more speed than he might grade out as. When I look at Robert Heron on film, he's not going to be somebody that sits out, stands out to you because of his tremendous size or his tremendous speed or his tremendous quickness and short area explosive ability at all. And that will cause his stock to drop a little bit um, in the 2014 NFL Draft, again, as I keep mentioning, because of the strength, depth, and talent overall of this wide receiver class this year. But a guy like Robert Heron, to me, uh, plays better than he grades. He plays quicker than he measures. He plays faster than he measures. He play big, plays bigger excuse me, than he measures. He plays stronger than he maybe measures. Um, He's a very reliable target to me, and he's a guy that I look at him, and I see a Robert Heron, and I see a third to fourth round talent. But again, like I said, one of those guys that was a productive player at college that maybe lacks great size or great speed or great quickness, but he was a productive player, and he brings a lot of other positives to the table that a team looking at for a slot wide receiver, and with the increase of importance of the three and four wide receiver sets in today's NFL, <clears throat> excuse me, and the success of all these smaller, quicker, shiftier slot receivers, the guys like the Percy Harvins and the Randall Cobbs and the T.Y. Hiltons and the Tavon Austins and the so on and so forth, these guys here actually see their stock improve just a little bit. So I think right at the end of the third round, beginning to middle of the fourth round is about where you might expect to see a Robert Heron go, although I wouldn't be surprised to see him drop as low as a fifth round because maybe teams think with his size he should be quicker and faster than he really is. But I think if you wait until the fifth round, you're probably making a mistake. He's not going to be one of the best wide receivers in this class, but I think he definitely has the ability to carve out a nice niche for himself and be a productive number three or number four wide receiver at the NFL level for eight or ten years.